Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Gorbani and I am your ASB Spotlight Commissioner. Welcome to our lovely Longhorn series where we commemorate outstanding individuals in the league community. For this month, our fifth lovely Longhorn is, drum roll please, Noah Raisblatt! Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Gorbani and I'm the ASB Spotlight Commissioner. Our fifth lovely Longhorn is Noah Raisblatt. Noah, would you please introduce yourself? Of course. Hi everyone, my name is Noah Raisblatt. I'm a freshman at Lee, obviously, and I was a part of a program called Student of the Year, which is run by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, could you please tell us more about this program and how you became a part of it? Yeah, of course. So, pretty much the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is the world's largest nonprofit fighting blood cancer. I first found out about this program through leadership, where a woman who works at LS came and talked to our class. I fell in love with the idea of being able to raise money for such an amazing cause while also learning lots of skills like marketing and entrepreneurship. So, Student of the Year is where they take high school students like me and give us the opportunity to create a multi-generational team and lead that team through seven weeks of fundraising. Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm glad that uh, you were able to hear about something like that. So, um, why is this program and specifically this fundraiser important to you? Yeah, so this organization is important to me because I got to see sort of firsthand how much cancer impacts families and patients. Um, so for example, while I was fundraising, I got to meet lots of cancer survivors and cancer families, and I got to talk to them. And a lot of them made donations in honor of their loved ones. And this really hit close to home, you know? And it made me realize just how important this program is and just how much LOS is doing for the community. That's awesome. Um, so how much did you guys raise or did you guys like meet your end goal? Yeah, so it was kind of funny actually. So first we had an like a end goal of $50,000, which I, after some fundraising realized that may not be exactly possible. <laughs> but we put it down to like the average, which is 30, 20,000. And then um, we actually doubled that. So we did end up raising $40,000. Ooh, really that's so good. Um, so like what strategies or like, what did you use to accomplish this? So yeah, um, I think the first big accomplishment that our team has was we partnered with a company called Next Gen Leads and they donated $10,000 to our team, which took a lot of convincing, but <laughs> we had really good connections. Yeah, and of course I couldn't have done it without my team, you know, it's, it's it was a really big team effort. Um, and then I think most of the money that we raised came from just reaching out to people, letting them know about the fundraiser. We sent lots of emails um, and made lots of phone calls. And I personally believe that most people in the world wanna do the right thing. So that's why people did tend to donate. Um, and yeah, and we just kept motivating ourselves and because we, we all knew that we were making a difference, you know, even $5 more is something, you know? So we just kept motivating ourselves and I think that's how we accomplished it. That's great. Um, so did you guys like just ask people if they were willing to fundraise or was it like, because I think um, you guys had like the Krispy Kreme donuts fundraiser, right? Like, was it ways like that or was it more, oh, could you guys please donate? Yeah, so the Krispy Kreme fundraiser was just an extra sort of fundraiser, but I think around 75% of the money came from just asking people that we knew because it's more personal, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. And when we when I first learned about the program, you get you got this like mentor, I guess, from LLS who works with all the teams. And she told me that around 75% comes from personal asks, which is where you like email people, call people, text people, just let people know in general. So I, that is where we raised most of our money. That's awesome. Okay, so um, we know, well, the commission knows that you're a freshman and you've already accomplished so much with all of this. So as you go through high school, how do you hope to bring more awareness to this? Yeah, so even though the program is over, it's just kind of sad, but kind of bittersweet at the same time. 
Um, I think I'll keep fundraising, maybe get involved in more projects that are similar to this because I've always loved to, I don't know, be a leader, if that makes sense. Or like, I don't know, making a difference always seems kind of cool, in my opinion. Um, so I will definitely keep doing that. And I think the more that, the more you learn about other people and the more you learn about the world around us, like cancer, it, you really get to know like, really what it, is, what it is about and how much it affects other people. So I'll definitely keep making sure that people, other people understand that. And yeah. That's awesome. Um, okay, this is more of a personal question, but I wanted to know um, what you think the your favorite part about this program was or your favorite experience in all this. Yeah, um, I think my favorite experience was, so we did some door-to-door -door fundraising um, in our free time. So we just walked around houses, just telling people about the program. We had a, like a fundraising page on our phones. So we made QR code links in the COVID. So we just like put our phones up and if they wanted to donate, they could. So one of the, I think, coolest experiences was I was going to the door with one of my friends that was on the team. And we met this mom who, we met her daughter too. And, and her youngest daughter had leukemia when she was two and she beat it thankfully um but and she told us her story and she donated to our team which was such an amazing experience and we also got to talk to this boy his he's the um i think he's the kid of the year or something like ls has this one kid who they honor the, it's called the honorary hero there you go. um so they have so his name's kabir he was eight and he made a drawing for all the teams which was so cute i still have it but um I might, it might take me a while to find it, so <laughs> it was super cute, and yeah, I got to talk to him and got to know about his family, and I think that made me see the world differently, and yeah, it's just a really cool experience. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. That's so adorable that he, like, made it for everyone. Okay, so my last question is, do you have any advice for incoming freshmen or just anybody in general? Um, on how or like just anything f regarding taking on these vital large projects? Yeah, I would say just go for it because even though it might be intimidating at first, it's definitely worth it in the long run. But I would say mostly my biggest advice would be do things that you're gonna be passionate about because if you're just doing it to do it, you're only gonna do it halfway, if that makes sense. So I would say do things that you're passionate about, do things that you think you're gonna be happy doing and that will give you a bigger result. And yeah, so I think that'll be the biggest advice is just go for it. <laughs> that sounds like great advice. Thank you for that. Um, okay, did you have anything else you wanted to add on? Um, I don't think so, but okay, yeah. Okay, sounds really good. <laughs> okay, thank you so much.